Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'd like to review for you a movie I just watched called Ghost Riders. This one was sent to me for review by MVD Entertainment. If you guys want to check this one out, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will include more information for the links to purchase one down the description. So this is not to be confused with the Marvel character Ghost Rider. This is Ghost Riders as in Ghost Cowboys. And at the beginning of the movie, there is this uh, outlaw and he, uh, he kills somebody, I guess. And he's sentenced to hang. And the preacher comes and, and with, a, with like a posse and they get him out of his cell and they plan to hang him. Now the sheriff or whatever comes along and he says, you know, this, we do have to do this the legal way and we can't hang him till sunrise. And the posse basically uh, decides they're just going to hang him. And then his gang shows up and there's a shootout and um, the preacher is determined to hang him. And they says, I think on here that he curses the preacher and his descendants, although not really sure where that's shown in the movie. He does say, as you sow, so shall you reap. That's more of a saying than a curse, I guess. But um, we fast forward to a hundred years later or something like that. I can't remember uh, exactly. And we are shown um, this man and his son. His son's a grown up though, you know, and they are descendants of the preacher. We're kind of given that information. Um, and, and there's like a lot of action right in the beginning, you know, the, the, the pos the gang comes and the posse and they have a shootout and all this stuff. And then it just goes into this like really slow thing about the, this, these, uh, about this guy. He's like a pilot and he's, he's the descendant of, um, the preacher. And we also get this, uh, woman and this other guy who's like the, uh, plane mechanic and they go looking for his dad, who we presume is abducted, I guess, by the Ghost Riders. I'm not sure exactly how, what happened there, but we don't actually see the Ghost Riders until 45 minutes into the movie. And we're given really no explanation of how they came back to life, why at this point they come back to life, or as ghosts or the undead, whatever you want to call them. But they come back and basically just start shooting everybody um, indiscriminately. Um, but I guess targeting uh, this man and his son because they are descendants of the preacher. I don't know. The story doesn't make a lot of sense. And we're really not given a lot of details. And you're, I mean, the synopsis reading that does kind of help uh, with the story. But I just feel like you're not given a lot of the story in the movie. It's definitely a low budget title. Um, the quality of the video isn't terrible, but it is still a very grainy picture. Um, but overall, not a terrible picture quality on that. Um, I'm going to give this one a two and a half out of five. You know, it just, it was, <laughs> there's just so many lulls in this movie where not a lot's going on. There's a lot of really useless information thrown out, but not really a lot of the information you need. Uh, take, for example, there's these two guys that go fishing and they're talking to the dad and and he's telling them oh yeah i give you permission to go out to this place and go fishing and they're like well that's where we left our boat and, and i'm like is any of this important to the movie uh they do end up getting shot by the ghost riders or at least presumably by the ghost riders but all the information is not important to the movie how the ghost riders came back to life which is important i don't think was ever told you know what i mean it's just definitely a lot of things you see in low budget titles uh in this movie but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you haven't already subscribed for more videos check the says videos and i'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.